with you guys today we're taking a look at a new windows 11 feature that monitors your system resources now we all know that task manager does have some monitoring capabilities but you can't do anything with it it's locked inside a uh, task manager here let me quickly show you here inside here you'll be able to see your cpu and you'll be able to see memory and your ethernet and your gpu is in here as well but it's quite limited and it's locked inside the task manager but what Microsoft are going to be doing is allowing you to add a lot of these widgets to your widget on the left hand side and also to an application. And I'll show you how to do it. First, go to Microsoft Store and open this up. And you need to do a search for uh, Dev Home. And once you do a search for Dev Home, click on it and it will open up a link to the actual program that Microsoft have released. You can see right here on the left-hand side, Dev Home Preview, it's free to download. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one here. Let me click on it and it will open up and it allow us to download it and install it on our computer. So let's take a look at the actual application here. You can see Dev Home is a control center providing the ability to track all of your workflow and coding tasks in one place. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to quickly click on the get here and this will download and install it. And uh, once this is installed, we'll be able to open it up and I'll show you both both ways of uh, enabling this feature inside Windows. So once we get it downloaded here, it's quite a big download. It's 122 megabytes. But once we got this down, we can open it up and we will see the actual control center, which we can use and put the widgets inside there, but we can also use the widget on the left-hand side. And I'll show you both methods so you can get a good idea of what it is. So this is the Dev Home Control Center. It's just gonna get a few things ready for us, and then we'll be able to add our widgets to this control center. So you can see here, pin widgets, uh, connect accounts, and create a dev drive. So these are what we can do inside here. We'll have a look at that in a second, but this is exactly what we're looking at right here. And I'll do it inside here in a second. I just want to go down to the widgets area and I'll show you how to add new widgets into here afterwards. So let's go down into the bottom left hand side of the computer. Unless you've turned this off or you've removed it, it should be down here on the bottom left hand side. And this is the actual widget here. And you can now add in these right inside here. So if you use this quite a lot, this is going to be useful for you if you want to get quick access to uh, those widgets here. So let me open up the top area here and you should see add widget. So now we can add the CPU widget and we can now go back inside here and add more widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and add more by clicking on the plus sign here. And we can now go in here and we're going to add memory and we're going to click another one and we're going to go and add network and we'll add one more in here and we're going to add the CPU inside here. Let's now add those in and you can now see there's four widgets inside here, which is displaying our CPU, our memory, our GPU and our network activity, which is quite good. Now, there is some options in here for small, medium and large, depending on what you want to set yours up as. Large obviously takes up a lot more real estate. Small takes up hardly any real estate, but doesn't tell you much about it apart from a graph. And medium is sort of middle of the road, really. But the large one gives you a lot more access to some extra buttons here, which is to help you end the processes on the CPU area here. So quite a useful little gadget to add inside your uh, widget area here. I do think that this is quite useful if people do use the widget. I personally don't use this section and I turn this off. But if you do use it, this might be useful to you. Now, again, you can move these around as well. You can drag them and move them into the position you want. And they are quite big and chunky, but you do need them big and chunky so you can actually see the information on here. It does tell you all the memory usage and committed memory and cache and stuff like that. Yes, you can do this inside Task Manager. And again, it's just Microsoft releasing things that might interest people. Whether it's any use to you, I'm not too sure. But now we've gone back to the Dev Home uh, dashboard here, and now you can add widgets inside here as well. You can see we can add in the GPU, the memory, and uh, the CPU and network inside here as well. So you can have them inside your dashboard as well if you want to add them in here. So this is all early days for this particular dashboard. Now remember, this is work in progress from Microsoft, so there could be a few bugs in this and a few glitches, and you might get the odd crash. But at the moment, 
as you can see it does work we've got four things in here cpu gpu uh, memory and network and you can got some uh customization in here not too much i'm not sure how far they're going to go with this but as you can see we do have four uh, widgets inside here and you can add more other widgets as well i'm not sure what they're going to be adding uh, later on down the line but at the moment we have these ones here which might be useful to you and uh, again you can move these around as well uh, to suit your needs and if you want something like this inside the uh, dev home dashboard then that's how you can add these in anyway i hope that's been some sort of use to you just a quick video today and uh, that's basically how you can add in your widgets inside the dev home dashboard my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who are joined my youtube members group whether you're a tier one tier two or tier three it doesn't matter i really do appreciate uh, everyone who's joined and given their money over to support what i do i really do appreciate it anyway have a lovely day and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat bye for now